Hello everyone, Jason here back here again. Sorry I'm using my phone camera again instead of my new camera. Mostly because the SD card is right now full and it's not like recording right now. So this will have to do. So the news broke out today that Omar Sy's Berries and Jake Johnson's Lowry will be returning in the newest installment and final installment in the Jurassic Park franchise. Now, Daniel Panera and a uh, Frank Webb are coming back also, um, including the little girl Maisie, those characters from Fallen Kingdom, and now our, our old characters from the first Jurassic World are all coming back. With Chris Pratt, Bright Dallas Howard, they're going to be joining with the original cast, and this feels like to me now a celebration. This is everybody coming back everybody at least that have lived or or any but the actors that are able to come back now i know that some actors are still alive but some of their characters are dead in the franchise or they just don't have any interest in it anymore this is just like the major characters that we've been following through and have important parts in these films so all so they're all coming together and this is going to be a lot of fun for me because rarely have I ever seen a franchise in at the end of its at the end of its run bring every single major cast member all together to bring out one final round in its in, in its entire franchise the biggest one came out last year, which is Avengers Endgame, which brought everybody together. And the Lord of the Rings, sort of, the original trilogy. But I don't think that would count because we have been following those same characters throughout those movies. Something like the Avengers, it was unprecedented. And Jurassic World, I don't think it's going to do that. But I feel like it's going to bring back all these characters well, some of them might have smaller roles, but each character, I feel like, knowing that they're in this movie, are going to play some sort of role in it that's going to be really integral to its story. Because right now, with everybody coming together, this is, this is starting to feel like more of a celebration. Because we're right now at the end of the, at the, end of the franchise's run. And I just cannot wait to see what they're able to do with this now. Now that everybody's basically coming back, I am more stoked than ever to check out what this film has in store for us. And this is already my top, my top number one most anticipated movie in next year. I know it's a bias because I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan, but I really want this to be good. I really want this to be one of the best installments in this franchise. The sequel that's going to truly bring everything together. Maybe it doesn't have to be as great as the first, but have it be a great send off to this mostly divisive but still respectful fan base and franchise. Because this the Jurassic Park franchise, whether you like the movies or sequels or not, Everybody still respected each other and each one of us are still like really excited to see what the next installment has in store for us. Yeah, a lot of people do not like Jurassic World 2, but they were still intrigued of the idea at the end of the film and what that could bring. So for that movie to still be able to do the job fine, is going to this new one is going to have a lot to live up to, but I have faith in Contravaro. He is respectful to the source material and to this franchise and I just cannot wait to see what he's able to bring in the table for this final installment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.